Hi everybody, Derek Bisson here, and today's topic is buy-downs, specifically the 2-1 and the 3-2-1 buy-down. Now these have become pretty popular this year, uh, given the fact that we have been seeing escalating interest rates this year, and we're seeing a lot of mortgage companies starting to offer these sorts of programs. And we wanna talk about those today because to be honest, I'm not a big fan of these. These are at best, in my opinion, a gimmick, and at worst, it's kind of a bait and switch. The main focus of this is to get you to call so that a loan officer like myself can explain. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. In this video, we're gonna cover the following topics. What is a buy down? We'll discuss some examples of buy downs and what are some alternatives for buy downs? Let's get started. Okay, so first we're gonna discuss a traditional buy-down. This is where you actually pay a fee to the lender in order to get a permanently lowered interest rate over the life of the loan. This can either be paid by you or any other third party in your transaction if properly disclosed. It could be a seller, a builder, sometimes realtors can actually do this as well. Now, this is a permanent type of a buy-down where you get a lowered interest rate, again, for the life of that loan. And now let's flip over to the temporary buy downs. Those are the three, two, one or the two, one buy downs. These are the ones that this video is gonna be focused on. So here's an example of how one of these works. So let's look at an example of a three, two, one buy down with a start rate of 8%. In year one, you're gonna make a payment that's based upon an interest rate of 5%. Then in year two, you're gonna begin making a payment that is based upon 6%. Then in year three, you're gonna be making a payment based on 7%. And then finally, at the beginning of year four, you'll be back up to the original interest rate of 8%. And it'll remain there for years four through 30. So that means that that interest rate is eventually gonna go right back up to 8% for the remainder of the life of that loan. So as long as you own that home or you have that mortgage, that will be your principal and interest payment. So here's where the temporary buy-down happens. In the beginning of the first year, remember that interest rate is gonna be at 5%. Well, you actually owed 8%. So the spread between 5% and 8% is calculated. That's the missing interest. Put that aside for a second. Go into year two, it's gonna be up to 6%. So the spread between 6% and the amount you actually owed, 8%, is also set aside. Repeat that process for one more year between 7% and 8%. Now you put all that money together and that becomes the cost of the buy-down. You can see you're not really buying the interest rate down so much as you are temporarily just subsidizing the interest payments that are missing during the first few years. And again, your payment is going up each year. And this is why I'm not a big fan of temporary buy downs. It's because you still have to pay your normal closing cost and your down payment. And then if your plan is to refinance when rates get lower, you're gonna have to pay for a refinance again. Remember that a 2-1 buy down doesn't include any closing costs being paid for by say the seller or a builder, right? So you still gotta pay your down payment, still gotta pay your closing cost, but you've got a temporarily lowered payment that will eventually just keep going up and up and up over time until it achieves a higher interest rate than you might have otherwise had. Remember that interest though, Okay, that is being paid for by someone else. So you are just prepaying something, but you're not really getting a discount at all on that mortgage. So what you're using is somebody else's money to temporarily buy your interest rate down. And there are some other ways that you can spend that money and have a much better outcome. So let's cover those next. Now remember, on a temporary buy-down, all of that interest still is owed to the lender. It's just being paid for in advance by a seller or a builder. Now, if we take a look at an example of a 3-2-1 buy-down on a $450,000 mortgage, we can see that that seller is gonna have to pay you 4.5%. So that is a lot of money. And to be honest, there are so many better ways to spend that money. So if you're, for instance, banking on refinancing when rates get lower, then it's probably a better idea to spend that 4.5% on your closing costs so you can get in with just your down payment. And in this example, we can see that not only can you get all of your standard closing costs paid for in the, here in the state of Florida, this is what this example is based on, but over time, you may even be able to afford some extra discount points to permanently buy that interest rate down a bit. 
Now, if you already have got your closing cost already covered and you're fine with this, then you can take all of that four and a half or four and a quarter, whatever it turns out to be, you can spend that purely on discount points to buy the interest rate of that loan down permanently for the life of that loan. And if that's your goal, you're gonna see a much lower interest rate and you're gonna save, you could save as much as say almost two points on this mortgage, two percentage points on your interest rate, which over the life of a loan of $450,000 can be tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars of interest charges. And that's it. We hope you found this information helpful and you have a better understanding of temporary buy downs and how they're more of a gimmick than anything else. But again, how you can use that type of a situation to your advantage and spend that sort of money in a much more uh, friendly way for you economically. Now, of course, if you'd like more great mortgage information, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you. And of course, if you're looking to purchase, refinance, or get pre-approved to purchase a home anywhere in the state of Florida, we would love to help. Thanks again for watching. I'm Derek Bisson, and this is Unconventional Lightning.